Alrighty fam, welcome back to another video. So I'm going to try and get through this without coughing and spluttering my guts out. Uh, and we're going to touch on very, very, very cool looking Zelgis in the new update. Now, I love living in Australia, but sometimes it's a pain in the butt. And one of the reasons why it's a pain in the butt is because this always comes out like just after I drop my video. So I do my video, this comes out, and then I don't get a chance to do a video on it till the, pre the next night because of work and stuff like that. So yes, I'm always late to these things. Much love. I have to do what I have to do. Um, let's talk about it. I'm very excited, to be honest. Um, it is a bit like eh. it, does, it didn't have to be demons to do this, but like I'm, I'm glad we got Gelder and I'm glad it's the Seldra. So let's have a look at what's her face, Gelder. Right, let's start here. Um, this is we're gonna go through. You know, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the skills. Uh, now, shout out to Marilee. I've stolen his Twitter post about it. He took a screenshot from Kane. So again, shout out to Kane from the Discord. Uh, I am a Discord like elitist in a weird way. I don't know. I'm not. I don't think I'm not part of this Discord where Kane posts about this stuff. Um, and I don't like adding discords and stuff. I don't even know if I can add this to a squad, so that's irrelevant, but hopefully you guys get what I mean. So thank you, Marilee, for posting this on Twitter. Uh, we're going to run through it really quickly. So, the start of battle applies fierce strain to the enemy and apply breath of regeneration to the unit for five turns. For 30% of the unit, unit's regeneration rate, increase the demon on basic stats, makes 20% and applies demon rest. Cool. So let's, let's break this down. So basically... This is the 30% unit regeneration rate increases demon basic stats is basically the passive that green Molascular has, right? With her lifesteal card. That's basically what that is. So as long as you are up to, what is it? So you want 20% max basic stats increase, you need a 60% regeneration rate. Um, I don't actually know is, hold up. Is the regen pieces, doesn't really matter who I pick, right? Is regen a, it's a two set. Okay, that's good. So it means that's recovery. It's gotta be the right one. It's gotta be the right one, recovery. Cause the other one's what? Yeah, yeah, that's no, recovery. It's gonna be fine. So that's two sets. So you're gonna run HP recovery is what you'll be running. Cool, that makes sense. So HP recovery, um, as the start of allies turn the unit heals 10% and units max HP and damage decreases damage taken by 10% max 50%. Wow, okay. So she should just be tanky. She should just be super, super tanky. For every HP heal from demon allies by attack increase. Okay, so this is the this is like a Deanne passive, right? Except it, not quite, because Deanne's passive increases damage done. This increases your HP, which I suppose increases damage done. So I suppose it's kind of like a Deanne passive. This unit does quite a lot. Um, this unit does quite a lot. And Breath of Regeneration for five turns, immune to healing. Really. Okay, so basically you can't... Wow. Healing related stat seals. So I guess you can't infect, you can't reduce their HP. Wow, that's pretty good. So basically she's just gonna get a hell of a lot of HP and then she's gonna do damage on it. So what's the single target? 46% uh, damage and heal 60%. I think my voice sounds hella weird as well. So this could be an interesting video. Um, and inflict 30% damage of units. Of okay, so this is kind of like Kind of like cough cough, kind of like a uh, purgatory bard, right? Where it's all based on max HP and kind of like Reinhardt as well, where all of her is basically just an HP unit. So HP recovery, I think, is going to be the set where everyone's going to run a one run. Everyone's going to want to run with her. Uh, I don't love this ultimate, but I don't think her utility is in her ultimate, right? So applies buff that increases HP related stats by thirty percent. Okay, yeah. So increases your HP related stats and then inflicts damage hundred percent of damage by units. Okay, so basically you get a stat boost which is then going to help you do a heck of a lot more damage, but it's a single target. So I think probably making her an AOE would have made her too strong. So single target ultimate based on HP. The whole thing is just based on HP and she becomes a demon and increases basic stats. So that's really, really cool. I think she's going to be a really fun character. There you go. This is all the cards look like. So that's the single target lifesteal and that's the AOE. That's the ultimate. Can I see the ultimate? Okay, here we go. Hold on. We're going to mute it because it's always insanely loud. So let's see. Merges fire and blood together. That's kind of sick. I don't hate that. I, I'm actually looking forward to seeing her. I think she's going to be fun. I'm hoping so. Okay, so what's this? This is 5% HP increase, 50% damage, all the way up to the damage. Yeah, 100% of damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So 50% of your HP up to 100%. Cool. Now, banner. Okay. Stop it. Okay. Hold up. We'll get to these in a second. So you've got Gelda, of course. Very good. You've got uh, the new ally unit, which is Blue Zeldris. Right? So you can get some dupes for him. I obviously want some dupes. I'm sure you guys do. He's barely in any banners because he's been useless, so this will be good fun. Uh, Red Roxy, weird pick. And also Blue Liz, which is also a weird pick. Uh, new Halloween Merlin. Eastern. Oh, Halloween? Yeah, it was Halloween. Summer Merlin. Summer Tristan. Summer Deanne. Green Elaine. This is... This is the Elaine I don't have, right? Hold up. Hold up, fam. This is... I'm, I'm already on Heroes like an idiot. Yes. Yes. Okay. This is the Elaine I don't have. Okay. This bit, oh, I better get her. I better get her. Okay. Summer Deanne. Most people have. This is an Eastern. Useless. This is a Liz. Useless. Tristan Shaw for Goddesses. These two are Shaw, but like, it's a pretty mid banner, to be honest. Like, this is whole. Oh, this is going to be hard. Do I recommend you guys skip or not? I would probably lean towards skip. Oh, oh, oh. I think I think Gelda could be really good though. I'm gonna see. I mean, I think I think it's yeah. I think the banner sucks too much. Like no matter, I think Gelda's gonna be good. The thing is, the demons are still strong, right? Like Demon King is still strong. Um, and yeah, I, I don't think we can justify. And all of her passives are yeah. She got to be on the field. I think it's a skip. I think for most people. Um, cause like these units are all second tier, right? Like none of these units, you don't even really need dupes yet, unless you're allowing demons and yeah, I just don't think it's, I don't think it's wise. 600 pity as always, if I don't get her, I literally might go for two, I might go for two pities just because I really need her. Um, level anniversary spe special pickup. Okay. Why is that? Is that? Hold up, hold up. Oh my God, stop it. She's here anyway. Oh my God. That's incredible. Okay. So you get a one-time draw and you do get to pick. Um, is this how can we change where we, if the other was coming? I'm hoping I get to pick at the end. Mile achievement reward, 420. Okay, surely I get to pick. Character lineup, only available for 11 draws, one-time draw cannot be used. I will be gutted if I can't pick a light. But surely with two, two banners with green Elaine, surely I get her. I can finally use LR Glocks and Jelly King and anyway. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, just in time for it to be completely irrelevant. Then you go, okay, you get a SSR Festival Award as well. Now all of these are pretty old, right? Like I can't imagine you guys needing to use any of this for like maybe I might get Festival Deanne to be honest. Like for me, for example, six 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 six. Five, four, six. Nah, irrelevant, 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 irrelevant. Like all these are pretty irrelevant. Maybe like Red Deanne or uh, probably this Infinity Merlin is probably justifiable actually. Um, like these two you could probably get away with or obviously Esterosa for the demons. Now the Geld is an AoE. She's got an AoE as well, so that's nice. Um, so I'll be curious to see non Esterosa teams, but all of these are going to be pretty decent, I think. I think. Um, so, okay, that's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that. That's looking pretty good. I'm looking forward to something. Like I said, I'd probably recommend you guys skip, but we're going to see how that goes. Um, all right, cruise, keep on cruising on. This is the sickest outfit, by the way, fam. Like, this is the coolest looking outfit. Um, I think he looks absolutely fire. Uh, and then this is all the skills. And again, shout out to Morelli. I've stolen his. Well, not stolen. I'm viewing it on Twitter, uh, should I say. So, uh, at the start of battle, applies buff. That increases crit chance. Gotta make this boy crit for two turns. And every ultimate gauge the unit decreases by skill usage, increases crit chance by 30%. And he has one of these. Okay, cool. So, you're looking at at least 130% increase, right? Straight off the bat, surely. Um, when attacking a debuffed enemy, increases damage by 80%. Also, when the unit moves a card, applies the buff, that increases crit damage by 120% for one turn. For every alt gauge of the unit decrease, increase crit by 30. Okay, so like, if you use this AoE, you put like Sariel in Congelda, you AoE, you debuff everyone, then you move a card, and then you use spike damage. 
I guess, because then you've got an increase of damage by 80%. You've got the crit chance buff. You then increase your crit damage by 120%, and you've got spike. And for every go, increase crit damage by 30%. So you got 150% crit damage immediately increased. You have a basic stat increase from Gelda. Of course, these two are designed to go together, Zeldris and Gelda, but like you could pop off. I mean, well, no, you could even do this. You could do this, right? Decrease all enemies' crit resistance by 20%. So move a card, use this. Use the. Okay, this could be fun. This could be fun. Um, spike damage and decrease ultimate gauge, decrease all enemies' crit resistance, and inflict despair. So despair is if you crit, but you should be critting now. 130% minimum, you should be critting. And he's going to get a stat buff because he's LR. And this is the, the Margaret passive, right? Increased enemy HP related stats for three turns and it's like spike damage. So it used to just be spike. It's still a single target, which is a bit, bit sad, but I get it, I guess. We've got two single target spikes. This is new, but this is kind of whatever. Right, so. I'm doing these videos for you guys while I'm about to, while I'm about to die. Okay, cool. That looks cool. So I think he's going to be a lot like this combo with these two together, the LR and then this girl. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to Tuesday. It's something different and it's going to be fun. Teams, maybe Gelda, maybe Kusak in the back, Estorosa and Zeldris. It could be a very, very fun combination. We've just gone through all his stats and stuff. Well, it's not stats, his uh, skills. A couple of cool outfits for Gelda. I quite like her OG one, but this one could be cool as well. If that's your if that's your thing. Um, okay, PvP rules. All of the same race based stat increases. Okay, yeah. So it's just going to be demons versus humans versus yeah. That's basically it. When an ally becomes unable to fight, grants an effect that increases allies' HP related stats by ten percent. Interesting. So if you if you get stunned or whatever, all your HP related stats go up. Uh, yeah, this is for Fight Festival for special, um, special Guild Thunder. PvP Guild Thunder doesn't really apply to most of us. Packs for buying for, Zel for, for Gelda. Okay, cool. So these are all the different summons. That's five. Plus, then they'll get you some, uh, a free summon for Gelda. You've got the Whack-A-Mole Hawk event. It's always annoying. Fam. I'm, I'm going to rest this weekend, I think, and try and get better. I want to stream, but we'll see how we go. Um, okay, cool. Different rewards and stuff you get. And uh, 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 the different points you get. Oh, this is exhilarating, isn't it? Watching me cough and splutter and yawn and stuff at you guys. Um, okay. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's cool. Makes sense. Uh, ooh. Ooh. I don't think I've done... I haven't done this fight. I have not done this fight. That's cool. I love getting final bosses that I haven't done. Um, all the usual stuff. We should be able to get a outfit for them, right? Yep, outfit, 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 outfit. Yeah, beautiful. Sensational. Keen, keen, keen. I'll get these outfits as well. I think I've already got them, but I'll, I'll get them again just to make sure. Your standard LR stuff. This is the stuff I like. All the outfits. Very, very cool. Uh, we'll do guides and stuff as always. Got the event tower of trials because why not <laughs> just throw it in it's always a good little resource gain i guess for everyone uh okay so this will give you 10 so this will give you like i guess a full free multi yes in that thing no i wonder how that's working let me let me read this again hold up 11 okay so it's available for 11 draws so hold on if you get like 10 of them that's like basically doing 300 gems, right? This is at 420, so you do like, what, two more? Okay, so it'll be just like a random draw then. I better, I better bloody pull green Elaine, fam. I better bloody get it. Um, yeah, you got a couple more. All the usual stuff, like there's nothing crazy here. This boss, this guy's back. This boss is back. I don't remember what the name was. The name? Parade Gleon? That doesn't sound right, whatever. It's here. Here to stay. Well, I'll stay for a bit. Um, I, my brain is just not working. Anyway, let's keep working through this. Additional festival point acquisition. Okay, so this is like winning fight festival. That's good. PvP. I like it when this is just like free stuff for winning PvP. 
Um, one reward from the list are the victory box from Brawl. I actually do this. I actually do Brawl because I have OCD and i got to clear everything. So this is actually really nice for me. Um, daily mission rewards. Cool. And then Fort Solgris stuff. Some missions can't be connected. Fish an issue with text not displayed. Cool. Add, char add characters to permanent gacha. Mission for up top genie, Kusak. Love that autocorrect. Um... Lodosio Flash, God's Agent, yep. And Dino Pride Mercy Mutron. Okay, cool. Alright, sweet. Well, that's awesome. So, okay, so obviously the big stuff is Zeldris, who looks bloody awesome. Very excited to see him in action. We've got the new final boss. Uh, and then we also have Gelder as well. So, I'm very keen to try all this, play around with it. It's going to be good fun. Uh, you guys let me know if you're going to summon. I don't think you should, like I said, but who am I to tell you what to do? Hope you guys enjoyed that, and as always, I'll catch you all in the next one. <laughs> Thanks for watching.